excuse me. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I want to talk about something. I want to talk about why I say um so much. No. So, today I want to talk about technology, kind of. Not like very in depth, but just a couple of things. I think three things I want to talk about technology. The first one being GPS tracking. And when I talk to any of my friends about that or my family, they're like, that'd be weird if we could just track everybody. If everyone had trackers on us. If the government was tracking us right now at this very moment, like, what if we could track each other? And then you sit there and you think, and you're like, oh, there's an app for that on my cell phone right now. And I could look up probably 10 or 11 of my friends and where they're at right now. Or at least where their cell phone's at. And that blows my mind. Am I crazy for having that on my phone? Like, am I a stalker? Do I need to know where my friends are at all times? Probably not. No, I don't. And I guess there's a good side to it, you know, because if they're going to a party or something and they stop responding to me and they're like, hey, if I stop responding at a certain time, like, please make sure I'm okay, then I know exactly where they are. And that's a good thing in my opinion, but I've gotten into so many fights with my friends because it lagged on my phone or also my family members where it's lagged on my phone before and it's been somewhere else and even though I was right in my house laying on my couch watching Netflix where I always am and it's lagged or been weird said I was 300 feet to the right when I'm actually just sitting on my couch my phone is right next to me but things get wonky so causes fights and I think about that and it's like why do we need that? Why do we need to know where our friends are at all times or our boyfriend or our girlfriend or our significant other or whatever and I would probably like that if I had a dog and it could tell me instantly where the dog is. That'd be good, I guess, if it ran out. But other than that, like, why do we need to know where our friends are at all times? The Find My Friend app has caused so many fights in my past relationships, my past friendships, some of my current friendships, and my family members, and my friends' family members, and just all this unnecessary drama that does not need to happen just because of Find My Friends. And I think about that, I think about we know where our friends are right now. If I want to look, I can see where my friends are right now. So imagine in 10 years from now, it's probably going to be a hologram of a map and you press a button and then you can see where all your friends are walking from like the cameras out on the street and that is crazy because that's probably already in, in existence. If not, they're working on it and you know they are. That's just, it, ugh, it makes me so crazy. A couple of years ago, I loved it. I loved the Find My Friends app. I loved knowing where everyone was at because I was like, if they lie to me, I'm gonna know. But I'm like, I don't need to know now. And that was very immature of me to think that way. And I guess since I've grown up since then, I don't need to know where my friends are at at all times. Because what does it matter? It doesn't. It's insane to me that people will text me, why aren't you at your house? You said you were gonna be at your house tonight. When like, random grocery trip to Meyer or random trip to Taco Bell or somewhere and they're like why aren't you at your house and I'm like why does it matter why do you need to know where I'm at 20 24 hours a day seven days a week you don't need to know that and that it, it's just crazy to me and that leads to the next thing um read receipts do you know how many fights I've gotten into with my friends and family because my read receipts either weren't on or were on and my Apple Watch accidentally opened my text message or I'm at a red light and I click on it to text back and it turns green so I put my phone down because I don't text and drive because that's dangerous and people are like, you're ignoring me, you hate me, you're ignoring me, you're ignoring me. I'm not. I just haven't texted you back yet. And I, I have not realized until recently that I miss the little flip phones. You flip up, you text, you send it. Because if someone didn't respond to me for three days, I wasn't thinking, they hate me. I was just like, oh, they haven't looked at my text message yet. But now we get that instant gratification if someone's read our text message or not. And, like, I, I like it. I do like when read receipts are on. But, like, I'm not going to get mad at you. I shouldn't be like, I know you opened my text message at 8.37. Why haven't you responded yet? Because that makes me feel, like, not healthy. Mentally. So, yeah, just, it's crazy to me that so many people in my life have caused fights with me, picked a fight, or past relationships that have picked a fight with me just because I read their text message or didn't respond in 30 seconds. And I like when people respond fast, don't get me wrong, but like things happen, but apparently that's the society that we live in now, and it's normal. I do not think that's normal, but whatever. Finally, snap streaks. If you don't know what a snap streak is, you probably don't have Snapchat, but it's on Snapchat. You Snapchat someone for 
three days, and after the three days, it will appear next to your friend's name on Snapchat. And with every day that comes, another number will be added to that. So four days, five days, six days, so on you get the point. But even me, myself included, I've gotten mad, not like in a year or two or three. If you don't Snapchat someone back within 24 hours of the last time that you Snapchatted them, your snap streak will disappear. And I, again, myself included, have gotten so mad at my friends when they've lost our snap streak. When it's just a number next to a name. That doesn't represent if you're a good friend. It doesn't represent if you care about me or love me. Like, there are so many people in my life who love me so much who don't have a snap streak with me. So clearly, that does not define if they love me or not. But again, we especially my generation, like, we love that stuff. We love the gratification. We love fast, fast, fast. We love little tiny things that can prove if you care about me or not. But it's like, at the end of the day, if you support me, if you love me, if you cherish me, and you're there for me, then you love me. If you don't have a number three next to your name, then you clearly don't care about me. Like, that, I know so many people, again, myself included, that have, or sometimes even still get upset about that. And it's like, how, why? Why would you get so upset about that? Because if a little tiny number next to a name on Snapchat represents your, your friendship, it's probably not the best friendship. I think that maybe we should all put our phone to, phones down. I have the Apple Watch, I have the iPhone, I have the iPad, I have the MacBook, I have the Apple Car. Just kidding, I don't have that, but one day I will. And I hate cell phones. I hate cell phones because I feel like this is a whole different rant, so I'm not going to get into it, but I feel like we don't put our phones down enough. I feel like we don't pay attention to what's right in front of us enough, and we don't. So maybe let's start doing that, but yeah, that was my annoying rant. Sorry if that irritated you or disagree. If you disagree, tell me why you disagree. If you agree, tell me why. But thanks for watching, and have a great night.